Right there, right there. Whoa, guys, did you see that? Florida has a tropical climate and a hugely diverse ecosystem. Many times in our environment, we notice reptiles, amphibians, and lizards. Now lizards are commonly mistaken for snakes and skinks are commonly mistaken for lizards. There's five species of skinks in Florida. The sand skink, the five line skink, the broadhead skink, the mole skink, and the ground skink. The ground skink is one of the smaller of the five species. It is commonly seen scurrying through leaf litter. The five line skink is the most colorful of all with dark black and brightly colored orange bands down its back leading into a stunning blue tail. The broadhead skink is the largest of all the skink species in Florida. It gets around 8 to 12 inches long. The sand skink is an endangered species to which I've never seen. But I was lucky enough today to find the mole skink. A truly stunning species with a brightly red tail and sleek appearance. At first I thought this was a regular ground skink that had regenerated its tail. The mole skink lays a clutch of two to four eggs. And unlike popular belief, the mole skink is quite a family person. It stays with its eggs until they hatch. The mole skink is e easily identified by its interwoven tail scales that are reminiscent of chainmail armor. I snapped these quick pictures and set him free. I want to say thanks to everyone for watching this video. Make sure you press that subscribe button. Once I get 1,000 subscribers, I plan on doing a special video. I'm going to do the cow killer challenge. That's where I'll induce a sting from the insect with the fourth most painful sting in the insect kingdom. So like, comment, and share, and that'll happen sooner than you know it.